James R. Ness, celebrated for his iconic portrayal of Marshal Matt Dillon on the long-running TV series Gunsmoke, was not only a legendary figure in the world of entertainment, but also a man whose personal life was marked by enduring and meaningful relationships. Born James King R. Ness in 1923, his journey through matrimony and family was as fascinating as his career in Hollywood. With multiple marriages and a close-knit clan, James Arness's life off the screen was a testament to his commitment to love, loyalty, and the bonds that held his family together through the decades. In this video, we delve into the marriages and family life of this beloved actor, shedding light on the profound connections that shaped his legacy. Join Facts First as we present the tragic death of James Arness's wife and daughter. James and Virginia James Arness was born in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He had a successful career in Hollywood, and his personal life, particularly his courtship and marriage to Virginia Jenny Arness, was equally interesting. His courtship of Jenny was a love story that began in their hometown of Minneapolis, where they both grew up. They were childhood friends, having attended the same school. But it wasn't until later in life that their romantic relationship blossomed. Jenny, born Virginia Chapman, was an actress and model. She had her own share of success in the entertainment industry, making appearances in movies and television shows during the 40s and 50s. She had a striking beauty and a charming personality that attracted many suitors, but it was James Arness who ultimately won her heart. The couple's courtship was marked by a deep connection and a shared love for the outdoors. They enjoyed spending time together in the natural beauty of Minnesota, engaging in activities like fishing, hunting, and hiking. This common interest in outdoor pursuits strengthened their bond and provided them with opportunities to nurture their relationship away from the spotlight of Hollywood. James and Jenny were married December 11, 1950, in a private ceremony attended by close family and friends. Their marriage was a testament to their genuine affection for one another and their commitment to building a life together. They chose to keep their personal life relatively private away from the intense scrutiny that often accompanies celebrity marriages. They went on to have three children together, two sons named Craig and Rolf, and a daughter named Jenny Lee. Their family life was characterized by the same love and devotion that marked their courtship. Despite the demands of James's acting career, he always made time for his wife and children, fostering a close-knit and loving family. James and Jenny remained married for over four decades until her passing in 1977. Jenny's death deeply affected James, and he was reportedly devastated by her loss. James continued his acting career, earning accolades for his work and solidifying his place as a television icon. He passed away June 3, 2011, leaving behind a lasting legacy in both the entertainment world and the hearts of those who knew and loved him. Jenny's Career Jenny, born Virginia Chapman, October 21, 1923, in Minneapolis, led a relatively private life in her later years after her marriage to James Arness. Jenny focused primarily on being a devoted wife and mother, and Jenny played a vital role in raising their children and maintaining a harmonious family life. She began her career as an actress and appeared in several films during the 40s and 50s. She had small but memorable roles in movies like The Farmer's Daughter in 1947, starring Loretta Young and Joseph Cotton, and Noose for a Gunman in 1960. While her filmography was not extensive, her appearances in these films showcased her talent and screen presence. In addition to her acting, Jenny also worked as a model. Her striking beauty and poise made her a sought-after figure in modeling. Her career allowed her to be featured in various advertisements and magazines, further establishing her presence in the entertainment industry. Her commitment to family, though, was paramount, and she relished her role as a mother and homemaker. Throughout her marriage to James, Jenny stood by his side and supported him in his career. She understood the demands of Hollywood and the challenges that came with being married to a famous actor. Their love and mutual respect were evident in their enduring marriage. Jenny and her husband chose to live a relatively private life away from the glitz and the glamour of Hollywood. They valued their time together as a family and enjoyed a quieter existence. James remarried. James Arness and Janet Surtees were married in 1978. Their marriage came, of course, after the passing of James's first wife, Jenny, in 1977. Janet Surtees, a tennis player and entrepreneur, became the second wife of James Arness. 
The union attracted media attention due to James's fame in Hollywood. James and Janet shared a life together as a married couple, and while they didn't have children together, James did already have his three children from his first marriage to Jenny. Their family life appeared to be relatively private, and they maintained a low profile compared to some other celebrity couples. Sadly, their marriage ended in divorce in 1998 after two decades together. The reasons for the divorce were not widely publicized, as the couple preferred to keep things private. After the divorce, James Arness lived a more secluded life away from the public eye. He passed away at age 88 in 2011. Despite his marriage ending and the challenges he faced in his personal life, he still left behind a lasting legacy in the world of entertainment. His portrayal of Marshall, Matt Dillon, and Gunsmoke remains one of the most iconic roles in television history, and he's remembered for his contributions to the industry. James's daughter, Jenny Lee Arness, the daughter of actor James Arness, led a life that was relatively private compared to her famous father. Born May 23, 1950, Jenny was one of those three children. Despite being the child of a Hollywood star, she mostly stayed out of the limelight. Details about Jenny's life, including her career and personal pursuits, are not widely documented, reflecting her choice to maintain privacy. This discretion is not super uncommon among children of celebs who often seek to avoid the intense media scrutiny associated with their famous folks. Unfortunately, Jenny's life was marked by personal struggles. She faced challenges with substance abuse, a problem that affects many people regardless of family background or social status. Her life came to a tragic end, May 12, 1975, just days before her 25th birthday due to a drug overdose. Her untimely death was a devastating blow to her family and served as a poignant reminder of the serious consequences of substance abuse. James Arness, who had a long and successful career, was still deeply affected by his daughter's passing. The loss of a child is an unimaginably difficult experience, and it's likely it had a profound impact on him personally and professionally. While Jenny Lee Arness's life was largely private and away from the public eye, her struggles with substance abuse and her untimely death are a somber reminder of the challenges that can affect individuals in any family, regardless of fame or status. James Arness led a life full of career success, and his personal life had its fair share of challenges and triumphs. But certainly, the death of his daughter, as well as the death of his wife, were two events that rocked him to his core. Nevertheless, he persisted found love again, and continued with his life. Now it's time to hear from you. Which part of this story was most surprising to hear about? Are you a fan of Gunsmoke? What's your favorite episode? Let us know in the comments section below.